Well, it's my pleasure to welcome to Rogers Cup, Mary Pierce, and for the first time, I get to say Hall of Famer Mary Pierce, because just a few weeks ago, <laughs> congratulations, you were inducted into the Hall of Fame in Newport, Rhode Island, and how was that weekend? That sounds really good. It's got a nice ring to it. <laughs> yeah, the weekend was incredible, Nick. It was um, really just an unforgettable experience for me, such an honor, so humbling, and I'm just so happy and so proud now to be a Hall of Famer. Okay, so walk us through that week, because there's all of these festivities around the international National Tennis Hall of Fame leading up to in Newport. You gave a big speech, you had so many media requests and all of these fan accolades and maybe you had some nerves that you felt what back when you were a tennis player <laughs> when you were inducted <laughs> in the Hall of Fame? Some nerves, a lot, of nerves. a lot of nerves. Oh my gosh. I think it was maybe like one of the if not the most stressful thing I've ever been through in my life because um, it was just so emotional and so hard to put into words my whole tennis career and what it meant to me and the people that were there for me and that were able to be there that day for me. So it was just really, really incredible to be there. And uh, it was, yeah, it was very emotional, um, but I was just so happy to see everyone that came, like my first tennis coach that saw me play, my friend from school who introduced me to tennis, just so many special people that were there um, that made it that much more special for me. Well, it's special to have Mary here with us in Toronto, and actually you're part of a WTA coaches conference, or detail us what you're doing here in Toronto. Yes, exactly. So the WTA is organizing some coaches conferences, and I think it's wonderful because there are women out there that are great coaches and that can become great coaches, so um, that's part of the initiative, and also that's one of my desires to see more women in coaching. I've coached for six years in the past. I started coaching again this year in January, two players um, from Mauritius, and I love it, and I just see that you know everything that I've been through and my career can benefit others and help them to be the best that they can be tennis players and people on and off the court so I'm really excited to be here for this coaches conference today for all the coaches that are coming and hopefully have something to bring them that they can take away and use with their players. I'm glad you mentioned that we see Conchita Martinez working with Carolina Pliskova we've seen some other female coaches in the WTA but how do we get more female coaches on the WTA coaching as they should be some of the best female tennis players? Yeah I think make room for them and I think also to just speak about it and just say you know to former players or women that love tennis and are tennis players and passionate about tennis I think at first it comes from the heart and it's a passion that we have and we love tennis and we want to help others to be the best they can be and I believe to open up the minds of everybody um, because we see Amelie Moresmo coached Andy Murray and yep. now she's coaching Luca Pui so men coach women and men so women also are able to coach men and women mm -hmm. and can do a great job. And I think it doesn't matter about the gender, if you're male or female, I think it matters the chemistry and you click. You know, every coach that I've worked with, it's been who's the person that best fits for me? And that could be a male or a female. So to open that door. Really, really cool. Glad that you're pushing that initiative. Now, you're back here in Canada. You were born in Montreal, so you, of course, have the Canadian connection. But what sort of Canadian Open? We, of course, are now the Rogers Cup. What memories do you have here? You were twice a semifinalist. You had good runs here in the past. But what does it feel like to be back here at Rogers Cup? It's very special for me to be back in Canada where I was born. Um, obviously, I was born in Montreal. We're here in Toronto. But just the Canadian Open, Rogers Cup has always had a special place in my heart. I loved coming back. I remember when I came and played the first time, how welcomed I was by the crowd and I was like oh I feel so Canadian thank you for the love it's such a really special feeling and I have a thought for Jana Novotna because we won the doubles uh, the Canadian Open one year and that nice. uh, was a very special memory for me yeah very good and lastly what I want to ask you about is you were speaking to some younger Canadian players today and what sort of advice were you trying to imbue on them well, you know, it was really uh, a great time, um, a wonderful group of, of young girls, um, aspiring professional tennis players, and, you know, some play the tournament here, and, you know, it was really interesting because they had questions for me, and they had very good questions, um, all sorts of different kinds, and I really enjoyed my time with them, and I feel um, that it was a special time for them as well as it was for me, and that they took things away that I really believe that they're going to be able to apply in their life on the court and off the court, and it's going to help them to be the best person and the best tennis player that they can be. So I'm excited for them. What's that one piece of advice? you got to help me, you've got to help the viewer. What's the one piece of advice we should take away? Well, um, I would say to have a dream. That for me would be the most important thing. To, to have a dream, to know what your dream is, to believe in that, to believe in yourself no matter what anybody says. And that's what gets you out of bed every morning when you're tired and you don't want to do it or when you're doubting or having a tough day. But to know what your dream is and to never give up and to always work hard for that. Awesome. Well, a dream made you a Hall of Famer, <laughs> Mary Pierce. Thank you. We really appreciate you chatting with us. Thanks. Thanks, Nick. It's a pleasure, as always. Thanks. <laughs>